Hey friends, it's Lisa here from Marketing and Stellar. I want to welcome you to my channel. If you're new, thank you for being here. I hope you end up enjoying this reading. If you're from the past and you've been around, thank you for being here once again. So what is our pick a card topic today? What's their next move? You probably already saw it in the title, but yeah, we're going to be looking at your person's next move. Now, I will admit you guys, I did go at this with a romantic uh, kind of angle. So you can try to apply it and just take out the romance if you are looking for somebody else. Okay. But I will tell you, this is more romantic <laughs> in nature. Like I have some romance cards in here and stuff like that. So it's more for people who may be wondering about a crush or, you know, a situation ship or maybe even their partner that they have, uh, you know what I mean? Whatever in that sphere. So with that being said, I want you to take a look at the cards. We have number one, two, three, and four. Take a moment and just see where you're feeling drawn. And uh, as you think about that person, and then of course the timestamps will be in the description box. So as soon as you choose, uh, you know, one of the groups here or more than one, you can choose like group one and three or whatever you want. Uh, you might think one and two, or you might even think the first three, or you might think this, these two, you know what I mean? It just depends on your intuition, but you know, then you can find that timestamp and start directly at your group. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and I will see you in your reading. Hello, my friends. So if you chose group number one, here we go. We've got some blueberries. <laughs> I think of antioxidants, don't you? <laughs> I just was reading about blueberries and their antioxidant properties. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what is your person's next move towards you. So we start off with standing stones passage. This is card number 40. We've got here attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. We've got here different pages. You and this person do not share the same vision. We also have here discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And then for the Lenormand cards, we have the whip, the mountain, and the snake. So I'm going to tell you something here. I feel like the person that you are dealing with right off the bat, especially with the whip, the mountain, and the snake, I have to say that this person they're very attracted to you and there's something about you that really draws them forward. But, 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 but the problem here that I think I'm seeing here is that this person may play a little bit of a game with you. This may be somebody who uses manipulation tactics, uh, in order to get what they want. As an example, you know how people can play games. They sort of like, act like they try to make you jealous as an example, or they try to act like indifferent or when they actually aren't, I'm going to tell you right off the bat out of all the groups too, because I've seen some of the cards in the other groups. This is the one that has a little bit more of a challenging personality. I feel like the person, especially if you've chosen the wrong one, if this doesn't sound correct to you, then you probably just chose the wrong group. Um, cause of course, like I said, I always say, you know, pick a cards are based on your intuition. I read cards. I ask spirit to give me messages and then it's up to you guys to actually choose the correct group. Um, so yeah, if you feel like it's totally off, then definitely, uh, choose a different group or whatever anyway. But with that being said, it feels like this person, it's like, they're very attracted to you and they want to do something with you. I do see it, but it's almost like this person is playing games. <laughs> is the best, I guess, phrase I can come up with, you know, it's like a game player or somebody who's maybe a bit manipulative, doesn't come at you straight forward. You know what I mean? It's almost like somebody who's a little bit sly. It even could be somebody who says things that are kind of hurtful. And it's like, why are they saying it? it's almost like they uh, shoot themselves in their own foot? You know what I mean? Like some of their actions may be kind of detrimental to what they even want out of the situation with you. It's like, mm. You know, uh, the snake here in love, of course, can show like jealousy, um, betrayal, disloyalty, and uh, such things of that nature. Uh, again, it can be kind of like a little bit of like lies and manipulation. So it's almost like I feel like that they're coming at you and they may be talking about a different future. That's what I'm kind of wondering here is that if some of you, it's like they're going to come to you in a sense of like, well, this is what I want for my future. And it may not reflect like you in a way. It's almost like, well, I want to move to like, you know, so-and-so place and be with so-and-so person or, or so-and-so type of person. And it's like, somehow it's like not you 
<laughs> you know what I mean? But actually it's like they're trying to get you to want them. I'm telling you, manipulation <laughs> is what I'm getting. Like it's almost like, yeah, like they're coming off to you, like almost like they're indifferent or something like that. But it's like, they're still attracted to you in a way. It's like they are, and there's no doubt about it, but I think that they may have uh, methods that are just kind of screwed up <laughs> to be honest. And the, 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 the mountain as well here, it's almost like they put walls between you. It's almost like they're trying to distance themselves from you, but it's like, that's not actually what they really want, but it's like they put up this idea that they're indifferent or that they don't see things the same way that you do. Or it's almost like you guys are going into, it's like, ugh, I, this energy, <laughs> I'm just going to tell you straight up. It's confusing. It's like, I really feel like this person probably plays games, like I said, and is very confusing to you. Um, it's almost like they act super attracted, super flirtatious, but then they say things that totally contradict that. Um, and that, that's the thing. I feel like their next move might be kind of contradictory in some way. It's almost like they seem so attracted, but then it's like they're saying something that makes you think that they're not at all. <laughs> you know, like maybe, wow, does this person even like me? I thought that they were attracted. Now they're acting all weird. Um, so yeah, that's probably what you're going to get out of this person. Um, at least next, uh, you know what I mean? This doesn't talk of finality of the relationship or what's after in six months or something. This is more just like next move. So like, what do you do with this information? That's kind of what I, I need for you guys. Cause I'm like, I do feel like whatever is the next move, it's, it's somewhat contradictory uh, and it makes you confused. So we have big, happy changes. What do you do in this? What do you do in this? Well, I mean, let's see. What do they do with this information though? Like, hmm, we have the Y card coming out too. And what do I want to use? I guess I'll use my Fairy Lenormand. Let's do that. What do they do about this? Da, 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 da. That's too many cards. I'm not taking all of those. And I know some will disagree with me, but that's fine. What do you do with this? Um, well, the whip ring dog and lady. So I think one of the things that I would say here is about, I suppose, like kind of following yourself and what you want. Um, this may be uh, questioning yourself as to why you entertain this person. For some of you, it may be like that. Why am I entertaining this kind of shit? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, this person's always acting very weird, hot and cold, very strange. Why am I putting up with this? Is this actually what I need? Um, because of the dog in the ring, it's, it's like, I almost feel like you're blocking out a more loyal energy, to be honest. Um, and with, by entertaining this person at all, and I, that may not be for all of you, of course, if you do feel like this person's just having a mood, write it out. Okay. If this is not their normal behavior, but they say something that makes you feel quite confused. Uh, you know what I mean? Like every once in a while, even in my own relationship, I'm married for like 20, I've been with my husband for 20 years, but there are going to be moments where he says things and I'm just like, wait, what? Like, we're not even on the same page. <laughs> but then it turns out maybe it's not as bad or we talk it out or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's not nearly. So for some of you, that may be the case. You know, especially if it is a calmer relationship and this person isn't constantly toxic um, or whatever, for sure. And then I could say that, you know, maybe write this out. It might be fine. Maybe there's some deeper reason to why this is happening. Maybe this is about asking the deeper questions um, about, you know, yourself and, and this person, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, the thing about it, I want to say too, is like the relationship message of this particular card. Now listen, hear this out, hear this out. We don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way that we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you are being triggered by someone else or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this? Or why did I say that? And spend some time in introspection. The answers may be surprising. One thing you may actually tell this person too, depending on how comfortable you feel with them, is like, why did you say that? Um, 
how do you really feel? Because like how you're presenting this and calling them out on it, because sometimes people just need to be called out on it. They may not even realize that they're consciously doing this and saying like, hey, when you talk like that, it really makes me feel like this. And it really makes it seem like this. You know, even in my own relationship, there have been times where I had to tell my husband that and he's had to tell me things. You know what I mean? Like it's just making things work, you know what I mean? And so for some of you, if you do feel comfortable, it might be like explaining to this person that when they talk like that, or when they say things like that, that make you feel like you're very different, it's confusing to you. And and for some of you, that may be very effective actually. And they actually don't wanna be a dick, okay? So this isn't all bad for everyone. I think like this is a general reading. So unfortunately, you know, many people can pick this. So it really depends on your situation. If it is like a super toxic relationship, this might be again, why do you keep doing this like why do you keep going to this person why do you keep letting them in your energy you know what I mean it's so it's gonna be like I said a little bit different um, for some of you like I said especially in the situation where it might be a bit toxic this could actually be uh, blocking you from somebody very successfully uh, you know aligned towards you where it's like there could be a really loyal relationship and it's like this person's energy is just uh, you know distracting you from something better and uh, so, you know what I mean? Take it as it resonates for sure, especially on this one, because I do feel like that there are two distinct kind of energies and uh, you're probably going to fall in one of these categories, well, given that you've chosen the right group. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm getting. So I feel like the person may give you a confusing message, essentially. It's like they say something that just throws you off <laughs> and you're just like, wait, what? And how do you handle it? Well, like I told you, either you ask them and you find out deeper as to why they're saying this. Um, it, for some of you, this person may just play games and they don't even know that they do it. There are a lot of people really um, that play the game of like love with trying to get someone to be jealous. And like, sometimes that's a total turnoff for people and they don't realize it, like that they're not gonna actually win anyone over by that. or they try to act uh, exclusive or like they can't be caught. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, and it's like, well, that's not going to get you anywhere. You know what I mean? Like maybe with somebody who's like, you know, not good with relationships, uh, maybe they'll fall for it. But like most people are going to be like, wait, what? That's not what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? And, uh, <clears throat> Again, these are all coping methods that people develop, you know what I mean? Uh, because that's how they learn how to love or live, you know? <laughs> it's how they, you know, survive. And so, you know what I mean? For some, it's just instincts that they don't even realize that they have. So in, in some ways, this could be helpful for you to kind of uh, say something, you know what I mean? Because maybe for some of you, this might actually be very effective if you just said something and you said, Hey, you know, I, I really care about you, but when you talk like that, you know, it doesn't really help. Um, you know what I mean? So anyway, that's what I'm seeing. What an interesting group here. I really do hope this is helpful for you. And, uh, you know, it gives you some insight at least as well. And, and that other thing, like I said, for some of you, this person, it's not even that they see a different page within you. It's almost like it's just their, it's their method. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, whether you want to deal with that or not, I guess that's going to be something that you'll have to contend with um, in your own heart and, you know, based on your own situation. But, you know, because for some of you, this may just be something that can be effectively fixed, you know? And then for others of you, it might be like, okay, yeah, what am I doing here? <laughs> what am I doing here with this person right now who says shit like this that just doesn't, you know, build a good relationship and isn't, isn't good and they're not changing and you know whatever so take it you know like I said how it resonates and stuff but anyway yeah that's what I'm seeing I really do hope this is helpful for you and I wish you the very very best thank you for being here please subscribe if you haven't you can also join here as a member on the channel if you'd like and get some exclusive content but yeah take care you guys and I will see you all next time bye bye Hello, my friends. So if you chose group number two here with this cute little mushroom, this is your reading. So let's find out your person's next move. So we have God's freedom, eagle spirit, number 13. We have reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. This could be a very good omen, I guess, for some of you that are in separation or not talking, or maybe there's been some bumps in the road. We have here stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. I get the song, uh, River in the Highway, I think is the name of it. It's by Pam Tillis. It's a very old country song. Um, 
the the thing about that song, I don't even remember all the lyrics to it, but it just came to me quite strongly. It's almost like two people looking at each other, even though they're on different paths. So I don't know if that resonates with someone here, um, but I thought I'd say it because I'm just getting that intuitively. We have here happiness. I'm aware that being happy means I'm on the right path. We have here fish, dog, and heart. Beautiful. Okay, so you guys... <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. I want to say that what can you expect from the person on your mind? Well, something that brings about a feeling of stability. So I feel like whatever their next move is, there's a sense of restoration, reconciliation, or it could just be a renewed sense of loyalty in some way. This person may actually do something with the fish very generous for you because, of course, the fish can talk about uh, you know, many things or a lot of things or wealth or abundance. So it could be that they shower you with affection or attention in some way. There can be that kind of showering effect, I guess you could say. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's really pissing me off <laughs> today. It's like, uh, you know, with the love, we can talk even about like a rush or a flush of emotions. You know what I mean? And also with being free and uninhibited and with freedom up there too it makes me think that this person may be freely expressing themselves in some way and in in their in what and whatever that means for them you know obviously with different personalities uh freely expressing oneself may be quite different uh it may not always be like you know tears in their eyes <laughs> or like you know i just love you until the ends of the earth or something very romantic but in their personality trait there's something about them really freely expressing themselves to you and i think that it can have that symptom of really having stability because it's like wow okay this is amazing you know they're saying something that's very sweet it's like sometimes my husband will just like look over at me and he'll be like oh i'm so glad you know i have you in my life or something he'll say something and it's just like uh, you know, it's, it comes from it. Like my husband has a very deep kind of stern voice. Uh, you know what I mean? But it's just like, dang, <laughs> I can't believe he's saying that. You know what I mean? Like, ooh. <laughs> so I feel like that there could be something here that it's like where they're saying something that maybe they don't normally say. Um, or they're expressing something that to them really is expressing their loyalty towards you. Or it has that under undercurrent, you know? Um it lets you know that the relationship is like running smoothly in some way. It, whatever they're doing, it makes you happy. You're going to be smiling. It's going to be like something nice. It's almost like if they haven't been speaking to you for a while, it's like they come back around and there you are. You're like, okay, I knew they'd come back around. They always do. You know what I mean? Or, uh, it, it, But there's a lightheartedness to this energy. With the dog, of course, you know, it speaks of loyalty. <clears throat> It speaks of loyalty. I'm really sorry about my voice. I, I feel bad that I'm like, <laughs> I have this scratchiness to me. Uh, but no, it can talk about, you know, love, uh, trust, friendship, confidence in each other, and, you know, a supportive, reliable relationship. That is literally, so we have reliability with the dog and stability over here. And it's like, maybe there's an aspect of freedom to it. It's like where it doesn't, Maybe there's still a little bit of open-endedness for some of you, but it's like, but you have faith or trust somehow that they care, right? Now, the heart here, and this is funny because when I uh, did this deck, I put a purposefully put a romantic heart versus the regular heart. So same with sensual lily. I did a sensual lily and I did a regular, regular lily um, just to kind of differentiate for myself, um, you know, these things. And so you actually have the romantic heart. And so I know it's a romantic move that they're making. Uh, you know what I mean? And this can talk about, you know, flirtation, saying something very romantic, uh, you know, expressing some sort of feeling of passion, affection, desire. Uh, again, I feel like that there's this sort of cloud nine vibe to it. It's like, it puts you on cloud nine, you feel kind of happy. Um, and it's like, they just, they, you know, like I said, sometimes my husband just will say that, you know, these things to me and I'm just like, wow, he still cares. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not that I don't feel that, but do you know what I mean? It's just like, sometimes they, he'll say something extra romantic and, uh, it feels like this person could be saying something to you that makes you really feel like they're there for you. Maybe it's an act of something that they're doing with the dog and the fish. Maybe they're doing something loyal for you. Maybe they're doing an act of service or, you know, showing you through their actions. But, um, 
like I said, overall, I'm just getting this strong, strong vibe that they're just doing something that is very confirmative, you know, to, to romantic feelings and confirmative. Is that even a word? Pine on it. I just think I made that up. Did I? I don't know. Someone will tell me in the comments, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll be like, Lisa, that is not a word, or yes, that is a word. And I'll be like, thank you. Yeah, we have recovery. And so, again, for those of you that are in separation or you're having a period of uh, silence, I want to say that this person, okay, so there's two different things here. Uh, for some of you, like I said, this person, it could be like what I said with my husband as an example. It's like he sits there, and oftentimes when he says those romantic things, he's been contemplating. You know, he's been thinking. He might have seen something that made him, and I have those too myself, where I like see other people's relationships, and I'm like, oh, shit, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. Like, I'm so thankful for, for him, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I've never had to deal with that situation. I don't know what that's like, you know? Um, and And... You know what I mean? And, and and it could be that they do something, too, that makes you feel that way. Um, but the, that meditation brings answers. It makes me think of somebody who's been thinking it out. They've been thinking things through. They've been thinking about it. And, uh, you know, like that song, I've been thinking about you. <laughs> yeah. And, and I think that they are thinking about you and they show you that, you know, through their actions. But with recovery... For some of you with reconciliation and recovery, this is something that's going towards rebuilding a relationship or showing trust and faith as well. Um, so even if you've had some rockiness, maybe you're in a relationship, but you've had rocky moments. It's like they're affirming somehow, like they do something that's very sweet, very kind. And uh, it's like showing some sense of recovery. You know what I mean? So whether it's bringing you flowers or doing a gesture that they haven't done in a while or whatever but yeah so like it doesn't matter what kind of relationship this is whether it's a crush or any sort of relationship like I feel like their next move is something that makes you feel as if they're around you that they're there for you that they're sticking around um, like I mentioned <clears throat> Maybe this person, see my throat was really messing up with this reading. So again, this could be that this person, it's like they might take time. They may not always say what they think. It's like maybe with the wait there, it's like, you know what I mean? They've been waiting for the right moment to say something. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe it's like they have to clear their throat, that sort of thing. Um, we have here to be fair. Again, it makes me feel like this person maybe really balances out everything that they say. You know, and for some of you, this, to be fair, could be showing that they're trying to bring a restoration and balance to the relationship as well, right? How can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as being understood. There's much to be learned and you will learn it if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect with others, so allow the balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit and each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. And that's kind of, you know, I think playing into this, that you know, there's this desire to kind of restore things, like I mentioned, for some of you, especially in more difficult situations. Um, you know, there's making a step towards recovering things, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So what a wonderful reading, you guys. I really like this one. It's, it's always a blessing to have a very positive message. I feel like, and uh, this one seems to be quite positive. So if you've chosen this group and you were, you know, intuitively correct in your choice, I think that you're set to have a very nice moment with someone, you know, where they can be kind of freely open, like I mentioned, or, you know, say something that really warms your heart and makes you feel as if they're there for you, you know, or maybe they do something, like I said, too, that shows a step towards reconciliation, recovery, or again, is just sort of uh, building up your relationship in some way. So with that being said, I really do hope this is helpful for you. I send you lots of love and blessings. I hope that this reading found you healthy, happy, and you know, you leave at it with a sense of peace and you know, knowing that something good is coming your way in terms of your relationship. So it's always lovely to be able to share such things, you know, because I'm always very honest, uh, you know, and if you've had a personal reading with me, you know, <laughs> I don't sugarcoat, <laughs> I'm, you know, and, uh, but this seems very nice. Okay. So anyway, with that being said, I hope that you'll be back around and you'll stick around for another video in the future by subscribing, but take care guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, my friends. So if you chose group number three, this is your reading. This leaf always reminds me of the leaves in of The Land Before Time. I don't know if any of you have ever seen that film. It's a cartoon from 
like when I was a little girl and uh, there was a moment where he would eat leaves or whatever and I always thought they looked so good. <laughs> Do you ever have that where you read about something or you see someone eat something and you're like, man, I really want that. It was like the bell jar when she would eat caviar and she would explain it. I was just like, I want to eat caviar. And then I taste it and I'd be like, ew. <laughs> and I think I feel the same way about the leaves, but that leaf always reminds me of, of that cartoon with Littlefoot and he would eat the leaf anyway. <laughs> with that being said, let's get started on the reading. So we have got meandering pathway flow. So your person's next mood, move, mood. Oh, that's interesting. I made a mistake there. We have here true love and free yourself. We've got here play hard, stars and letter, and we've got love. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so overall, the next move. Okay, well, I have to say this person is definitely communicating here with the letter. So there's something probably written. This actually may be something that they write to you, okay? Especially with the letter because that really can talk more about like the written communication. So you may expect a text or some sort of written communication here. The stars as well can talk, talk about technology. So yeah, it's probably a text or a message online um, that you'll be getting from this person um, in terms of the next move. Now, we have a lot of positive cards here. We have two cards that say love, right? We have true love over here. We have love over here as well. It definitely makes me feel like there's something romantic about what they say. And even with the stars too, the stars can um, really talk about something optimistic and something very like kind of dreamy and romantic. So you know, it makes me feel like they're probably saying something like that, uh, something that kind of uh, brings optimism, hope, serenity, you know, something along those lines. So uh, what's interesting too is we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And then we have meandering pathway with flow. So I guess I could tell you in some way that this person may be saying something that does invite uh some sort of uh, openness like maybe it's a little bit playful but it's quite romantic as an example but it might be kind of a little bit free um, free form or it kind of invites an idea of like okay well you know maybe I don't know the exact pathway but I feel pretty good <laughs> you know what I'm saying that's that's kind of like what I would get get from that, you know. It's just like, and and so I guess a real like a life example would be sort of like you're so beautiful or like you're so this or that, and uh, <clears throat> it could even be ritual thinking. It could be that this person expresses like, I want to run away and do this with you, or I wish we could go here or do this. For some of you, that may be very well what it is. They might be talking to you about some sort of wish that they have. I would want to say that it includes you. Um, even if they don't say it directly, um, I would think that, especially for some of you, if this person texts you um, fairly soon, uh, you know, and they say, uh, they make an expression of like, I want to move somewhere. I want to do this or I want to do that. It's like they're envisioning you in that process. Okay. So I'm definitely, uh, definitely getting that. Okay. Uh, now the stars, like I said, can be very dreamy, romantic, wishful thinking, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So again, maybe also for some of you, if there's been a problem, uh, this could be a very healing or hopeful message uh, as well like it's like maybe they're expressing something like that we have here play hard find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other so there may be something playful as well about what they say but it's like I do think it's an expression of their love to be honest even if they don't say something genuinely or not genuinely that's not the right word it's something that is very apparently romantic uh you know what I mean even if it's not like that it's like that's their intention though is to express something romantic you know um so that was that's and they think about it and actually this person they could be thinking a lot about how to approach you at this time uh they may be thinking about about something they may be sharing certain thoughts of, with you uh about their future about ideas and all that sort of thing too but it does make me feel like uh 
they may be also seeing if you flow well with them as well. They may be testing you to kind of see if you're able to do something. So it might be for somebody, they may be even suggesting something in a, in a joking manner and seeing how you, if you bite, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, throwing the line out there and seeing if you bite. So it might be like, uh, especially for those of you that are maybe not super, super serious with the person, by the way, it could be like that they throw the line out, like, Oh, well, I really want to go like to Morocco <laughs> or something like that. Right. And then you're like, they, they're hoping that you would say like, oh, me too. I'd love to go there. And then it's like they're looking for that angle because it's like, man, we could go there together or something or we should go. You know what I mean? It's like that kind of thing. It's like they're uh, maybe throwing it out to bite. And uh, it's like this person, I do feel like that they're trying to get some sort of uh, with thinker that can show somebody who's trying to kind of logically figure something out as well. So they may be it's not testing you in the sense of manipulation. I don't think it's like, but they're trying to test maybe like where you're at. My husband does that sometimes, even after 20 years together. Uh, sometimes he'll say things like, Oh, you know, like, and I know when he's doing it, it's so funny. Cause I know I'm like the back of my hand, of course, you know what I mean? Um, but I see him do that sometimes where he'll be, he's a Pisces. He's got some, well, he's not all Pisces, but he's got like some Pisces stuff. And it's just like, uh, but he'll be like, Oh, like, I don't know. He'll just say things a certain way. And it's like, I can tell he wants me to say, yeah, let's do that. Or let's go there. <laughs> Usually he's pretty direct, but sometimes like generally I would say he's actually direct. He's ruled by Mercury. He's got an Aquarius sun. He just doesn't mess around for the most part. But every once in a while, I'll see this sort of like shifty stuff. The Pisces comes in. Um, but <clears throat> He's definitely got that duality, I suppose you could say. But, you know, in this case, it's like, it's almost like that type of thing. But it's not manipulative. It's not coming from a place of, like, trying to manipulate someone to do something that they don't want to do. It's more like they're trying to get to see, you know what I mean, um, in a playful way. And so you may find that they joke with you or say something in a joking manner or they kind of flippantly suggest something and it's it's really coming from a place of of of, of commitment compatibility they may be trying to see if you're compatible as well by the way um especially for those of you that are in a relationship that's kind of growing um is new maybe uh and is still in that yeah it's like they're learning about you through this um joke For some, they may joke about family stuff or future stuff in regard to family as well. So I'm kind of trying to see what your vibe is, uh, that sort of thing. For some, they may be talking about ways to live with your family. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, you know, oh, I want to go live a nomadic lifestyle or something and have a kids and, and like go live in other countries or I don't know, something, you know what I mean? Uh, they may be uh, t testing or trying to see something better for the family um, as well. So again, it depends. They may be also expressing some part of themselves about breaking free from their own family in certain situations as well. But yeah, there's something like playful about it. So it may not, you may almost wonder like, are they serious? And they absolutely are. I want to say that, yeah, like I said, this person comes at you in a way that is very loyal, you know, with that Alliance card. And they're just genuinely trying to learn more about you. So it's not like game playing in this situation. At least I don't think that's their, their intention. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't think, oh, watch out. This could be like group number one maybe had a little bit of manipulation, a little bit of toxic uh, shit in there. And I don't see it for this one. Like they may yeah, be approaching, but it's like they come from a good heart, from a good place and that sort of thing. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I really do hope this was helpful for you. I love these uh, readings have been so unique today. So I, it's, it's fun to hear. And I really do hope it gave you some insight, especially, you know, it might give you some ideas on how you want to respond respond and uh, all that good stuff. So take care, you guys. Have a beautiful and blessed day or night wherever you are. And if you want a personal reading, go check out my Etsy store in the description box, or you can uh, you know join here as a member on the channel as well. But anyway, I'll just go now and I hope to see you on the channel next time. Take care. Hello, my friends. So if you chose group number four with these cute little pine cones, this is your reading. 
So let's see, what's your person's next move? So we're gonna pull some cards here. We have the Phoenix, Transmutation, number 29. We have got here, Religious Factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. We've got here, Rejection. The reje this rejection is actually Divine Protection. We have the Ring, and we've got Sensual Lily, and we've got Humor. Ooh, this is an interesting uh, group here, you guys. Okay, so. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, so let me see. I have a few messages coming through already, and I just am trying to think about how I'm going to pack this out because uh, this may be a, a pile in which many people chose. It may have a little bit of a different um, situation, right? Now, For some of you, this person actually may be wanting to put a ring on it or to kind of take your relationship to the next level. Now, we have humor here as well. And so I want to say that some people might find that their person brings up some sort of commitment, but in a very joking manner. So it might be like in a humorous way. It's like they're testing the waters and so on and so forth. Now, that may be the case for some of you. The ring and sensual lily, this is like a commitment to a sensual relationship as well. So, I am going to tell you, man, this came out in a few of the groups, to be honest. Uh, but I am kind of getting the sense of like this person sort of in a joking manner picking up information. It's almost like they're trying to see if you'll reject them or not. So you may find that this person says something. It's like they're gathering evidence so that they know how to proceed. Okay. So like, especially for those of you where this is a sensual relationship, like maybe it's physical, it's friends with benefits, or especially for those people, I'm going to say that they may be testing the waters with you and trying to gather evidence to see whether this could be a serious relationship. Okay. So their next move might be sort of behind the scenes in a way, or it's like they're not exactly, I don't know if this person is actually going to come at you in a way that's very apparent. It's like, where they're kind of gathering evidence. You know, like sometimes you might ask somebody something in a way and you make it like a joke. Have you ever done that? I think we all have at some point in our life for heck's sake, um, where we might like kind of approach somebody about something and we're like, like we just kind of play it like lightly, but we're kind of actually really seeing what they think. And so I do kind of feel like this person could be doing such a thing. We have here, listen to your intuition as well. So this person may be... Um, they may be like testing their approach to you or like really considering something more serious. Um, another thing here, I mean, they could be trying to do something with you a little bit more serious as well. But I do feel like this person's trying to like gauge something with you is what I'm getting. I mean, okay, I'm going to tell you something. If this person's already rejected you, okay, and like full on rejected you, you can expect that rejection to continue, okay? So they're probably not going to come back around. And I'm just going to say that for a few people. If this person's already done rejected you and they're not talking to you or they're ignoring you or they don't seem to be responding to you in the same way that they did before, this person may actually just not be doing too much to you. Um, they may just kind of be leaving it in a way. Like, okay, I'm just going to be honest with you, especially for some of you. And again, that's your intuition will know that. Like you've already been, You, I think you'd have like ample evidence that they're not interested. Okay. And it's just about listening to that, you know, voice inside. Okay. Yeah. I can see that they're not really, uh, you know, that this isn't like, you know, a thing anymore. Like they're just don't seem to be invested in this relationship anymore or me, um, or whatever. 
but so there may be like a a sort of a commitment to that you know what i mean especially if it was a relationship that didn't get very um committed they may continue that in some way okay now what else this person's next move serendipity and message in a bottle oh so message in a bottle tells me that they're likely to uh communicate with you via like uh letters messages that sort of thing so they're definitely telling you something i feel uh here this can be communication a sign uh that sort of thing you can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, phone call, or email. You are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come from it in the end. The, sign are all the, the signs are all there. And that's another thing, too, is that you may intuitively pick up that this person's testing or trying to find something, um, that they're trying to get closer to you. And especially for those of you that are not in a situation of complete rejection in the past, um, then I think it's going to play obviously different for you. But I feel like here with that that uh, message in the bottle, there's a communication. And again, the serendipity card can talk about uh, paying attention to the signs that are presented as well. So there's something I feel like in the in this next interaction or this next move that's going to be a very subtle kind of change. But it's really something where this impacts how they're looking at the situation at you. Um, and I think it's for the better, to be honest. Um, I think that you intuitively will know the right things to say uh, at the moment. Like, I'm very confident in you uh, in terms of, like, how you'll, you'll, you'll handle this, to be honest. And I do feel like for a lot of you, especially if this is, like, a relationship uh, already or you have some sort of connection and there's not been rejection, it's more like they're trying to see if you'll reject them. And if not, then they're going to try to like, you know, pursue you further is what I'm getting. So like I said, there are a few stories here. Hopefully you found yours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because like I, did, I said, I think this is probably one of the groups where I'm feeling many people might pick it. So there might be a little bit of a different story for, for some, but I, that's what I'm getting here. And uh, overall, I have to say it's pretty good vibes, especially for those of you that are in like some sort of connection with somebody. Like I do feel like it's it's kind, it's gentle, it's nice. Uh, you know what I mean? And like it's, oh, look at move forward. It's like they're trying to gently find out how to move forward with you and what can possibly be and like what's the future. It's like this is actually quite impactful, I think, on them, by the way, like this moment, even though it might seem very light uh, and humorous, it's like really actually influencing their opinions and their ideas so it's kind of like a defining moment not to put pressure on you or anything like that but they may this may be something in which there is a like a definition that they're taking from this situation and it is going to subtly influence the rest of the connection or how it moves forward or proceeds forward it's almost like if you were to reject them or this idea or this thing they may start to realize that maybe it's like okay maybe it's not going to work you know what I mean? Um, but I don't really think that's the case for all of you, like at all. Um, in fact, like that probably would only be for like one or two of you. And that's just if you're going to be headstrong and like, you know, you know what they want <laughs> and, and, you're, and you're just being defiant anyway. Um, then you may actually end up screwing things up or not screwing things up. Maybe that's what you want. But like, I'm just saying that could maybe influence it for the negative, but I don't feel so like, honestly, from like, like I said, I think that would be a rare circumstance here from what I'm getting intuitively. Um, like I said, for some of you, especially if there are factors of morality, religion, they may be pulling away. Um, and that maybe, especially too, if there's like a, relig a religious aspect, like as maybe this person's married or something like that, maybe it's like they're just flirtatious, but they're not going beyond that. Maybe they're still rejecting it because it's actually not something they want to do. You know what I mean? Like, so I said, this can, this can play out in different ways, but hopefully you have a clear picture for yourself of like how it's going to happen with you because you already know what kind of relationship you have. You you may know like, okay, yes, that's true. They are married. Oh my God. Okay. Um, and then for others of you, you're going to be like, no, they're single. And we, you know, we've been really getting along really well and stuff like that. And things have been going great. Well, then I think it'll only improve to be honest. And I think that, yeah, with humor, they might try to test you a little bit to see something, um, to see if you'll reject them or not or reject the opinion, the idea, 
um, and it's very innocent, but that will help you, you know what I mean? It's towards the future development of the relationship for the positive, I want to say. And like I said, I think there are just a few different little stories, but I hope this is helpful for you. I wish you the very, very best, okay? Please subscribe if you haven't already and stick around. I'd love to see you in the future. But otherwise, guys, take care. Your personal readings are in the description box. You can go get one on my Etsy. And, of course, if you want to have, a, you know, a, like some uh, exclusive content, I have the membership area as well that you can join here on YouTube. But anyway, you guys, take care. Lots of love. And I wish you all the very, very best. Take care. Thank you.